Welcome to Tips for Life. In this video, important do's and don'ts for healthy lungs. We breathe every day, but most often we don't appreciate the role our lungs play in this breathing process. It's mostly when we experience breathing problems that we remember the value of our lungs. Breathing feeds oxygen to the cells throughout your body. And without enough oxygen, we are more vulnerable to many health problems, including respiratory illnesses, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and even heart disease. So, just like the rest of your body, your lungs deserve daily care and attention to facilitate good breathing. Here are important do's and don'ts for healthy lungs. But before we begin, if you are new to this channel, click the subscribe button to join us and also the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video all right so here we go firstly the do's one spend time outdoors for the health of your lungs make it a point to get outside each day and breathe in fresh air know that outdoor air is typically better and cleaner than indoor air so spending more time outdoors reduces your exposure to indoor air pollutants however when you are outdoors remember to practice sun safety and protect your skin from ultraviolet radiation but be mindful of the pollen count and stay indoors when your allergies are running rampant Two. Work to improve indoor air quality. Much as you must spend more time outdoors, you also still have to spend time in your indoors. So, make sure to improve indoor air quality. Among other things, keep a clean home and wash linens, vacuum, dust, and replace air filters in your home regularly to reduce pollutants and particulates in the air. And if you have indoor pets, you have to do these things more often. You may also consider adding indoor plants to help improve indoor air quality. 3. Stay well hydrated. Yes, staying well hydrated is important for your overall health, but it also helps promote proper lung functioning. The point is, drinking water helps thin the mucus produced by the lungs, which makes it easier to breathe. This is especially true for people with lung diseases, such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So, drink enough water or healthy fluids throughout the day to help keep the mucosa linings in the lungs thin. It is this thinner lining that helps the lungs function better. 4. Do breathing exercises. Just like physical activity, Breathing exercises can also strengthen your lungs, improve lung function, increase lung capacity, and help clean your lungs. Yes, you don't have to run a marathon to improve your breathing and better your lung health. Unlike physical exercise, you can perform breathing exercises at your work desk or during your commute. Deep breathing can also help you get closer to reaching your lungs full capacity. 5. Observe good hygiene practices. For the good health of your lungs, it is also important to wash hands regularly to avoid infections. Also wash sheets and pillowcases on a regular basis and replace your pillows at least every 6 to 12 months. 6. Make regular visits to the doctor. Make regular visits to the doctor to learn about healthy lungs and also to have lung checks. Let your doctor know your lung health so they will help you work towards your goal of having healthy lungs. And if your lungs are damaged or you have a serious illness like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or lung cancer or you experience one or more, of the following symptoms, shortness of breath during simple activities, pain when breathing, dizziness with a change in activity, a persistent cough, wheezing with exercise, 
cough associated with exercising, pain in the airway, and so on. The doctor may run tests to figure out the cause or even refer you to a lung specialist or pulmonologist if necessary. If you are enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Secondly, the don'ts. 1. Don't smoke. Studies show that smoking is the leading cause of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, accounting for 80% of all COPD deaths. It is also the leading cause of lung cancer. On the other hand, not smoking or quitting smoking keeps your lungs healthy and significantly decreases your risk for chronic lung diseases. So, if you smoke, it's time to think wisely. The good news is, it's never too late to stop smoking. Not smoking or quitting smoking is a great way to instantly improve lung health. Also bear in mind that smoking does not just affect your personal health, but secondhand smoke also affects everyone around you. So, if you smoke now, consult a doctor for ways to stop smoking. 2. Don't vape. Don't be deceived there is no safe way to use tobacco, and this includes e-cigarettes and vapes. While e-cigs are often viewed as a safer alternative to smoking, several researches show that vaping is associated with lung injury and lung disease. So, to be on the safer side, the best is to quit both smoking and vaping altogether. Bear in mind that tobacco in any form is addictive and it increases your risk for various health problems, including heart disease. 3. Don't expose yourself or others to tobacco smoke. Yes, know that when you decide to smoke, those around you often do not have a choice. Also bear in mind that even if you don't smoke or vape, you may still be exposed to secondhand smoke. Being around tobacco fumes is called involuntary smoking or passive smoking, so there is no way to avoid the harmful chemicals in cigarettes if you are around tobacco smoke. No, that secondhand smoke contains exactly the same toxic chemicals found in cigarettes. Secondhand smoke is known to cause cancer and leads to respiratory health problems and other diseases in the same way that actual smoking does. Studies show that there are more than 7,000 identified chemicals in tobacco smoke, including secondhand smoke. So, quit smoking and encourage family and friends to do the same and to avoid secondhand smoke. 4. Don't be inactive or idle. Exercise is important to your muscles as it keeps them healthy and strong. But did you know that your lungs need stimulation too? Yes, they do. Doing regular, moderately intense exercises is a great way to improve lung health. You see, the more you use your lungs, the better your respiratory health will be. So, make sure to choose physical activity and exercises that get your heart rate up and makes you breathe deeper. It is also recommended to aim for at least 20 minutes of consistent, moderately intense movement daily, like a brisk walk or a bike ride. The benefits of such physical exercises to the lungs are many. It strengthens your lungs, increases lung capacity, and helps clean your lungs. 5. Don't expose yourself to respiratory illness. Bear in mind that any cold or respiratory illness affects lung health immediately, but it can also lead to serious health complications. So, how do you stay safe from such conditions? Get in the habit of washing your hands with soap and water. Avoid touching your face, especially with unwashed hands. Avoid close contact with others when transmission is common in your community. Stay home if you are sick, to protect others. Get vaccines for respiratory illnesses such as the flu virus. 6. 
Don't overlook respiratory care. Physicians should always be a part of your health strategy. So, instead of waiting until you are ill to visit the doctor, work with physicians regularly to maintain wellness. Whether you need guidance to maintain good respiratory health or you need medical care for respiratory problems, make regular appointments with physicians or pulmonologists. And, here are two bonus tips. Laugh often. Studies show that laughing is a great exercise to work the abdominal muscles and increase lung capacity. In addition, laughing clears out your lungs by forcing enough stale air out and that allows fresh air to enter into more areas of the lung. Don't ignore pulmonary rehabilitation. If you have chronic lung disease, like asthma, post-COVID-19 lung disease, or lung cancer, accessing pulmonary rehab program can help you return to a more active lifestyle. With pulmonary rehabilitation, you may be engaged in a personalized course of exercise, education, counseling and support designed to help you regain your physical strength and stamina as well as address emotional barriers to your health and well-being. Do you have any tips to add to the list? If you do, feel free to add them in the comments section below. Finally, if you find value in this video, like the video, and remember to subscribe, and hit the notification bell, so you get notified of new uploaded videos on this channel. Thank you, for watching.